Hello there. Here's something you can do with custom NPC scripted blocks. Um, what I've got going on here, this is the 1.8.9 version using the new scripting. Uh, this would be something useful in a adventure map or just to mess with people somehow. Uh, so this has basically three elements to it. This is a this over here is a copy of that of, of the platform. That is also a copy. So those are all the same. This is the master copy over here, protected, and I'll show you why it's protected here in a second. This is a timer switch, and this is like the controller. Okay, so these are all scripted blocks, as you can see. So what goes on here? You run up the steps here, and platform disappears and then it, it can teleport you right back here to a position. Now you'll notice I didn't get hurt at all. You can go through it again. I'm, I am in survival mode and I don't quite hit the bottom but I also don't get hurt and maybe you saw it or not but there was a spider web that uh, spawned right about here and I dropped through it and that's why I'm not getting hurt. Um, so if we would take that spider web out of here, um, which is right here, we can just eliminate that for a second, and you'll see what happens then. And I hit pretty hard, so if I had any damage to me, I probably would have gotten killed. So that is why I have that in there for a soft landing when I teleport back to uh, my home position. This could be anywhere of course and it works the same way over here on this one except uh, I don't fall as far. <laughs> um, so and these blocks here are uh, are just uh, summoned and they're, they're blocks that you can't pick up otherwise I'd have thousands of these blocks in my inventory at this point. Um, so that's uh, that's a special um, Minecraft function that uh, you can summon blocks and you give them a special uh, pickup delay right to, right over here. If you give them that pickup delay, they won't they won't be able to be picked up, but they will they will despawn uh, eventually, like all items will. Um, so this here is the timer and this can change how long I fall. Right now it's I'm at 25. I could change that to 10 and I have to click on this block to change it. It's in the interact it's an interact function. So I just and there you go. So I don't fall very far at all there. Um, and also I could change that that I fall, um, well, let's say 100. That will make me hit bottom, I'm sure. It won't kill me, but it probably will hurt a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Um, and I'm teleported back. So, that's how this works. Um, you could do a lot with it. You could have different platforms um, that uh, you could jump between. Some of them would be false and some of them would be real. So uh, this will, can also be set off by dropping items on it here, as you can see. There you go. And it will respawn there. Okay, let me go down and get my sword again. Where did my sword go? There it is. Okay, <laughs> all right, I got it. And uh, so that's it. This is using the clone command, the Minecraft clone command, to grab these and to put them back here after I'm teleported out of here. And the reason I have this all protected is because if if I accidentally hit it, which I have done many times, um, it will destroy my original copy and I have to rebuild it again. Or even if a, a, a mob will spawn on there, he will destroy it. So I have to keep it uh, separated out like that so no one can hurt it. So that's my demo for today and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions um, this is using the timers uh, 
you could uh, right now it's uh, see the web is spawned then a timer is started one second and that sets to air so you don't really you you hardly see the web block you can let's set this back to 10 do it one more time here yeah there I just saw it for for a second I did see it but I don't know if it showed up on the video so uh, that's that's my video for today thanks for watching